Hello and welcome to this session in which we will distinguish between auditing and accounting, the difference between auditing and accounting. Confusion often arises between auditing and accounting because most auditing is auditing financial accounting information. And auditors, they have, they have to have experience, some sort of an experience or knowledge in accounting. Now also the titled Certified Public Accountant, CPAs, because auditors are CPAs, they're going to confuse auditors A with accountant. It doesn't really help. Accounting involves organizing economic event, basically looking at information, transaction, organizing those transactions in going from the general journal to the ledger to the financial statement to help users make financial decision. That's what accounting is. Recording transaction and events and report those transaction and events to the users to make a better financial decision. So accountant, what should they know? They should grasp principles and rules, such as, such as in the United States, we use generally accepted accounting principle or known as GAAP, G-A-A-P, for accurate data preparation, as well as established effective system for timely recording. So they, they, do ha they, they have to have some sort of a system. That's the job of an accountant, to record the information according to the principles. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. Now let's go from the accountant to the auditor. Auditors, what do they do? Auditing. During an audit, assuming we're auditing accounting data, auditor verify if the recorded transaction by the accountant, so the accountant already recorded the transaction, now the auditor is determining whether it represents the true economic event. Now, obviously, they have to establish, they have to use, not establish, they have to adhere to accounting standard. So auditor assess the proper recording according to a certain standard. In the US, what's the standard? GAAP, Generally Accepted Auditing Principle. They see, okay, did they indeed recorded this transaction properly according to those principles? So it's basically checking the work of the accountant. Now, beside accounting, Auditor must also gather, they, they need to know how to gather and how to interpret audit evidence, setting them apart from accountants. Accountants don't have to do that. Accountants record the transaction, report the transaction to the users who's going to make a decision based on this transaction. Also designing audit procedures, how to conduct an audit, selecting items for testing which item to test because an audit you will see later you cannot test everything you have to make a decision about which areas to audit which transactions which data to audit and which not to audit which is called sampling and also evaluating the outcome of this process that's unique to auditing totally different from accounting what should you do now? Go to Farhat Lectures, look at MCQs, true, false. If you are an accounting student, invest in yourself. Don't shortchange yourself. Accounting is an important. If you're an accounting student, invest in yourself. Accounting is a rewarding career. Auditing is also a rewarding career. Good luck, study hard, and of course, stay safe.